Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to learn the simplification of Boolean expressions by using four variable Carnap map. Now let us start the session. Now here are the questions. Simplify the following Boolean expressions using four variable Carnap maps. The first one is this is the sum of product expression, and the second one is also one of the sum of product expression. Firstly, we will simplify the first question. Here, the given the first sum of product expression in the variables by using w comma x comma y comma z. So this is the function mentioned with the variables w, x, y, and z. And here, the given sum of product expression is not in a standard form. So firstly, we need to convert the given expression into standard form. So for that one, here we consider the given expression here, and if we observe this expression here, the first product term, the variables x and y are missing, and coming to the second product term here, the variables missing are w comma y. And third product term, the variables missing here, w, comma, z. And fourth product term, if we observe, the variable y is missing. So, whatever the variables here missing in the sum of product expression, with that missing variables, we need to multiply by considering like x plus x complement. We already know that the sum of normal variable and the complement variable of the same will be equal to 1. Either it may be like x plus x complementary or y plus y complementary, any variable that will be equal to 1. So here we use whatever the missing variables in the sum of product expression, we multiply here the first product term x plus x complementary and y plus y complementary. Here the variables missing w comma y means we are multiplying with w plus w complement and y plus y complement. Similarly, we are following the same procedure. And after simplification, after multiplying all these terms, after simplification, we left with all these product terms here. We already learned how the product terms are representing. Because here, zeros are representing with complement variables and ones are representing with normal variables in any mid terms. So here, if we observe, this product term is with respect to, to the mid term M7. Similarly, here, we consider all the mid terms. And whatever the mid terms are repeating in the same function, we need to consider only one term. Because if we have function like xy plus xy will be equal to xy only. If we are repeating the same product term again and again means it will be equal to only xy. And if we consider here whatever the mid terms present in this sum of product expression and here this is the function that is will be equal to standard sum of product expression. So by considering this function we are writing all the mid terms mentioned here. So, mid terms here mentioned are 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13 and 15. Now, here this is the function with 4 variables. So, we need to use 4 variable Carnap map. So, here considering row side, wx variables are common, column side, yz variables are common. Now, after placing the assignment of mid terms here, now, whatever the mid terms present in this function, for those mid terms only we need to assign 1. Here, m1 is 1, mid term m1 is present, so we assign 1 here. And mid term m2 is present, so we assign in this place 1. And mid term m3 is present, and we assign 1 here. So, similarly, whatever the mid terms present in this function, for those mid terms we need to assign 1 here. And we need to combine the adjacent ones here. 
So that is nothing but we are making groups by considering adjacent ones. We already learned the rules of combining adjacent ones. Firstly, we need to combine more number of adjacent ones, and at least one time all the min terms mentioned in the function should be covered. And we need to find out a simplified Boolean expression. So here, by considering maximum number of ones, we are making eight ones as a group. So, and we left over with here one at m ten place and here one at m two place. So for to cover these two ones, again we need to consider m three min term, m two min term, and m eleven min term and m ten min term. So we are making four ones as a group by considering m two, m three, m ten, and m eleven. Now we need to write out for these two groups the product terms. So the group with the eight ones, the product term will be equal to here. If we observe, these eight ones are in four rows and two columns, and in four rows. The w and x variables are changing, and two columns y variable is changing, and z will be common. So here for this group with eight ones, the product term is z here. And considering four ones as a group, and these four ones are in the place of first row, last row, and third column and fourth column. If we observe in first row and last row. W variable is changing. X complement will be common, and coming to the column side, Y variable is common. Z variable will be changing. So for this group, the product term can be written as X bar and Y here. So the simplified Boolean expression. So the simplified Boolean expression for the given expression will be equal to z plus x bar y. So by following this procedure, we are going to find a simplified Boolean expression. Now we will consider the second expression. Now this is the another sum of product expression, and this function is also not in a standard form. And this is the function in terms of variables a comma b comma c comma d. So here also four number of variables we are using. So firstly we need to convert the given Boolean expression into standard form. Now here we will take the missing variables in this expression. If we observe the first product term a c variables are missing, and second product term d variable is missing. Third product term also d variable is missing. And fourth product term also d variable is missing. So whatever the variable is missing, by considering that variable in terms of like a plus a complement and c is missing in c plus c complement, and by after multiplying all these function, we can find out the final sum of product expression in standard form is going to be like this. Now, after converting these product terms into min terms, like we can observe the min terms present in this function are one, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, here four variables means we need to use four variable came up, and here in the row side we are considering a b variables are common, and column side c d variables are common. So whatever the min terms present in this function, for those min terms, we need to assign one in the respective cell. So if we observe, firstly we need to consider maximum number of adjacent ones. So here, if we observe, these four ones are adjacent to each other, and then next coming here, these four ones are also adjacent to each other, and we left with one more one here. So to To group this one also, we are considering these two ones are adjacent to each other. Now we need to write down the product term for this each group. So here, when we are writing the product terms after grouping adjacent ones, so whatever the product term we left, that product term is known as a prime implicit.
amplified. So, so after making groups for these adjacent ones, we need to write down the product terms for each group separately. So, when we are writing product terms for each group, that product term is known as prime implicate. Now, we will write down the prime implicate for each group. Now, here, if we consider these four ones as a group, these four ones are in two rows, second row and third row, and first column and second column. So, if we consider here, B variable is common, and here, C complement variable is common. So, B, C bar will be common, that is the prime implicate for these four ones. If we consider these four ones as a group, here, the prime implicant can be B bar and D will be the prime implicant for these four ones. And if we consider the prime implicant for these two ones as a pair here, these two ones are in fourth row and AB bar is common and in third column and fourth column. So, if we observe, C variable is common. So, finally, the simplified Boolean expression is function of A comma, B comma, C comma, D will be equal to B C bar plus B bar D plus A B bar C. So, this will be the simplified Boolean expression for the second problem. So, by following this procedure, we are able to find out a simplified Boolean expressions by using four variable Karnaf maps. Thank you for watching this video.